So now let me show you how you can create a chatbot that is capable of solving mathematical equations within just a few minutes. So this chat chatterbot provides what's called the mathematical equation logic where it's gonna let the user solve any mathematical equation. And we are talking about simple mathematical equations uh, such as addition, multiplication, division, something like that. So let me create a new script here, new, and then I'm gonna name it math.py. And then, and then I'm gonna first import from chatter, but I'm gonna import chat, but, and then I'm gonna create a new object here, chat, but, and then let me give it a name, let me just name it math, and then, and then the second uh, parameter that, that I'm going to pass, obviously, is the logic, logic underscore adapters. This is the most important part of this script. Because this logic adapter or adapters is going to take an element, it's going to just take an element uh, in this list that is going to let this uh, chatbot solve mathematical equations. So how can we uh, do that? Well, the logic is called, the logic for solving mathematical equations is called chatterbot.logic.mathematical mathematical evaluation. Evaluation. That's it. And then we need to, to store this in a variable, let's say bot, and then equals to chatbot. And then now we need to uh, tell the user to type something, because if, if we don't tell the user to type something, then it'll be obviously this chatbot is going to be useless. So let me, like before, let me use while, while true to make this, uh, to make this an infinite loop while true and then I'm gonna ask the user to type something so I'm gonna say here input and then here type the math equation that you want to solve and then I'm gonna store the answer here in a variable called user user text user text and then we want we want to tell that chatbot hey chatbot take what uh, the question that the user has given us and then respond accordingly respond with the correct mathematical um, solution so here I'm gonna say bot and then dot and then as usual get response because we want to get a res to get a response to what to the user to the user to, to the user's text and then we want to print that print the answer so I'm gonna say here print and then here chat chatbot and then I'm gonna uh, here append this and use the string string and then and then we are done but let's add here a print just to make our script look awesome I'm gonna say here math math chat bot just at the beginning just once we execute this um, this script is just gonna print this and then it's gonna start asking the user for uh, qu uh, for questions and then it's gonna respond accordingly and as you can see it's a very very simple script but it does a lot of things let me show you what this very simple and short script is capable of 